And here we go. Spawning up in the top left, it is the Red Terran player, Gumiho. The Towel Terran. And his opponent spawning down in the bottom right. It is classic. In the blue. This should be an absolute blast. Should be a ton of fun between these two. Uh, the battle of the two non... Well, I, I would say two of the best teamless players in Korea at the moment. Neither player repping uh, a squad. And as such, neither player playing in the World Team League. Classic looking around saying, hey, Gumiho, I know you like to proxy Rax Reaper. You, uh, you got any proxy Rax Reaper you want to share with the class? Gumiho is like, no. Build, build my barracks at home. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it is going to be a one Rax expand with the Marine. And Classic did poke up far enough to see no reactor first. And he's going to try and delay this as much as possible, but... Oh, Gumiho. Nice job right here. Gumiho actually... Did he misfire on one of those shots? Doesn't matter. He gets the kill. Nice little ambush. Drawing his opponent up the ramp. And just pounces on it. Now, Classic does get to see that it is Marine. Did not get to see the reactor. Also, a weird thing where he saw the depot, like, finish up. It's a really... No, I no, it was lifting. Lifting or lowering? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Um, no scout on the command center. Doesn't get to see the reactor. Only sees that it's a marine. As far as he knows, this could be a one base all in. Now, it's, it's not. We know that. But Classic does not. Classic, by the way, did not chrono boost out the adept in response to seeing marine first. That's kind of nice. Kind of nice being able to spend the Chrono Boost on other things. Like, for example, probes. And I say, for example, as though that's not the only thing. Oh, look at this little ambush from Gumiho. Classic, though, is aware of the potential of it. Gumiho, that micro was so sharp. Those Marines were, like, barely even stopping as they fired. That was really fast micro. Classic does have to be careful. These Marines are actually going to move across the map. Or at least they're setting up for maybe an ambush? No. Classic, though, is going to be able to find two of these Marines. And, oh, well, he's going to lose the Adept. Huh, is that worth it? I mean, it's nice to kill Marines. He sees that Marines' production is continued. Or has continued. By the way, Gumiho, he is going for two tanks and a medevac. I think he is going to boost and put these tanks maybe like here or possibly here. He's He's got aggressive intent. That is my read on this setup. Oh, wait, hang on. It's a scouting medevac, and the medevac is going to see the phoenixes. Looks like Classic did not respond immediate. Looks like it looks like Gumiho was the one who noticed first. Yeah, there we go. There's the push coming across the map. Viking will pop out momentarily. This is going to be scary to deal with. What do we have for Classic? We've got a an immortal on the way. Shield battery is very well tucked in. We also have a nice little mine out of these couple of mineral patches, which could be really big if Gumiho was intending to push on that left side, but he's not. He's going to push at the front. We actually see a Void Ray being produced here. Classic did not lose any Phoenixes just yet. We are seeing this attack forming on up. 
and the Immortal is going to be really helpful, but there's a lot of firepower here with these two tanks. We actually see SCVs getting pulled as well. One tank will be unseaged, and while that happens, Classic is going to move in here, does lift one tank, loses the Phoenix, but lifts another. Well, lifts with a second one. Nice hot pickup micro there from Gumiho. This is a lot of pressure coming on in, but nice job. Targets down to one tank. Battery overcharge has been worth its weight in gold right now. Ooh, Immortal will go down, but the Void Ray does clean up the tank. And now a third Siege tank shows up. This Void Ray not able to contribute against the Marines in a meaningful way at all. Classic. Oh, this is looking like Gumiho might just take him down. Void Ray does go down to the Viking. Got another Void Ray being produced. Ooh, Immortal will step forward. Will go after the tank. Barrier not going to be enough to let it stay alive. And he doesn't even get the siege tank there. This is looking like Gumiho is just going to run him over with a very aggressive push. Gumiho saying, Marines, tanks, those are good units. I like those. Those spark joy. And you know what? He is just going to overpower Classic in this game number one. We got another Immortal on the field. This is Classic's last chance. And Battery Overcharge is going to be available shortly. Viking, Landed Viking, does get targeted down by the Immortal. Oh, and the Siege Tank will go down. Hang on, is that enough? Hang on, most of the Marines are down. Battery Overcharge does need to get popped right now, right now, right now. Oh, the Immortal. Ah, he popped it too late. He popped it too late, and the Stalker hogged the Battery Overcharge. He couldn't save the Immortal, and now he is dead. The robotics facility went down. There's a void ray hitting the field. Sure, does not matter. If there was no bunkers and way less Marines, it would matter actually a lot. But Gumiho is going to strike through with a good target fire. We will see a nice lift on one of these tanks. And that actually does allow the void rays and, and stalkers to clear this up. But we've got another tank coming forward here for Gumiho. Ooh, Void Ray gonna try and step forward. We are seeing this Liberator adding so much damage, but it will get taken down. Classic, hang on. Can Classic actually make a defense happen here? He is really trying to prove me wrong, and he's doing such a good job. The thing is, even if he defends, Gumiho's got a third command center almost done. He's got more barracks on the way. He just started stimming combat shields. Siege Tank does get taken down, but this is still two fully loaded bunkers. Man, I am so amazed by Classic's defense here. It has blown me away. And if he can pop Battery Overcharge right now, there we go. He is going to... Well, Void Rays, please. Go, go, go. Use the Battery Overcharge. He needs to. Classic needs to break this, like, right now. Ah, he didn't use that Battery Overcharge anywhere nearly as much as he needed to. And... Gumiho has been rallying everything forward. This is his whole army, pretty much. He actually... Wait, he dropped a mule? Ooh, that's a nice find. We'll get one tank. Second tank is going to get sniped from the back. And that's going to allow... Well, that's going to allow Classic to maybe clear this out. Damn, Classic's hold has been otherworldly. That is ridiculous. I am so impressed by that hold. Gumiho doing a super strong push. The problem is, unless Classic kills this base... Well, hang on. Classic actually has his own third Nexus done. He is down in workers, but... Can Classic get some work done right here? Ooh, see, well, Bunker does get delayed. So too... No, the missile turret will complete. Classic, he doesn't know about this base. If he did, he would go after it. Okay, now he sees it. Prismatic alignment is available, but the army was already going home and Stim is already done. Classic might have had an opportunity to actually snipe that command center. Three prismatically aligned void rays are so strong. Speaking of which, they will kill these two tech labs extremely fast. Actually, he's going to get one of the marauders. He's getting good value out of these void rays. Kills the tech lab, kills a marauder. Eh, that's not bad. I am so impressed that Classic is even alive here. How? How did he hold? Damn. Like, like, truly impressive. I had completely written Classic off as dead. Alright. What do we have going for Classic besides the fact that he's not dead? 
He does have Colossus. First one about to pop. He's got Double Forge now on the way. He's got Charge nearly done. The problem for him is that Gumiho's 1-1 is so fast relative to this, relative to how the game is played out, has been played out. Oh, Sea Tank will get saved. Nice job from Gumiho. Void Rays could be really useful from Classic for sniping the tanks. It is a mostly Marine army at this point. There we go. One of the tanks will go down. Oh, I don't know about that battery overcharge. I think Classic might have needed to hold it for longer. 1-1 one, one is now done for Gumiho. Classic does get a lot of value from the shield battery overcharge, just healing his units up more so than anything. And now Charge is about to complete. So too will Extended Thermal Lance and the second Colossus. We gotta see 1-1 one, one start. There we go. There it is. All right, here comes a break attempt from Classic. Oh, that's a lot of Terran. The Zealots get cleaned up before the Colossus could really bring their lasers to bear. But once again, Classic holds. And now he's got a Dark Templar warped on in. Do we have any Missile Turrets? We do. We've got a Missile Turret in the third base, Missile Turret in the entrance of the natural, and between the natural and the third. Where'd that Dark Templar go? Okay, just grab the Watchtower. I actually don't like that. Because it shows his opponent that that's what he's got. Now, Gumiho is going to scan. Classic doesn't see the army at the Watchtower, so he knows it must be coming through the middle. And he's about to be on uh, third Colossus. Siege tanks in the background are doing good work, but Classic will get on top of them. Nice target fire with those. And the battery overcharge is doing so much work. Oh, the Marauders will get on top of one of, Colo one of the Colossus, but the second one will survive. Void Ray is going to take down a lot of the Medivacs. Classic once again holds against all odds. Classic is actually playing out of his damn mind. Ooh, can he find these two Marauders? Yes, he can. And the Medivac. He actually evens the supplies. He evens the supplies. He's about to even up the upgrades. Classic. What? Actually ridiculous. Now, is there a Ghost Academy? Not yet. It's just about to finish, though. Three more barracks as well coming in from Gumiho. Gumiho is still in a very good position. Make no mistake. But I would have absolutely... I mean, I, I said that Classic was dead. And I, I thought for sure he would be. But he managed to really make an amazing defense happen. Look at his stutter step on the Marine. And it is going to achieve nothing. He tried so hard to get a probe there. And Classic was just like, well, no. Charge. Zoom. The Void Rays have been unironically MVPs of this game. Gumiho does have the fourth base in the middle getting on up here. Now, the funny part is that he's taken this middle base. And it is good because of the position it holds. But it's funny that he's not getting the high yield gas from it there we go now he does start it up oh siege tank a uh, little bit of friendly fire right there thanks to this missile turret revealing that dt as it gets into the mineral line kind of funny gumiho will finish up that plus two weapons classic he can chrono boost out this 2-2 he can really close the distance at least on this plus two armor but he is still gonna be facing a scary timing from gumiho Classic actually just pulled ahead in supply now. That is wild. Gumiho adding on lots more ghosts right now. We do have disruptors on the field. Disruptor shot. Oh, will get fired out from far away. Does clip one of the tanks, the second one. First one does get dodged. No, uh, no stim being used. Very patient from Gumiho. Gumiho. He's about to be on 2-2. There we go. It is finished up now. Classic. Oh, I don't know about attacking into this year. 2-2 is about to complete, but he does have a good flank. We'll get in on top of these tanks. Getting some... Well, yeah, that's still a decent engagement for Goom or for uh, Classic. Gumiho, though, the reinforcements flooding forward. We'll try and get in on top of this army. And Viking... Oh, the battery overcharge again. Keeping that Colossus alive by the skin of its teeth. 
17 HP, and then he blinks forward, gets the two Vikings. And, well, <laughs> Alex that he doesn't want to chase too far. Triple Robo Disruptor coming on in. Meanwhile, five Marauders, six Marines at a time. And Gumiho, no 3-3. Classic starts up the 3-3 upgrades. Man, oh man, what a game we've got on our hands. Gumiho has been inches away from taking this game multiple times. We got a fourth robo on the way. Classic, classic, is, classic is going quad robo. Nice little disruptor shot. Clips a couple of SCVs. Good job. Gumiho finally getting up into plus three weapons. Uh, does need to transfer away a couple of SCVs from the main. Ooh, units on the right side. Oh, we'll get jumped on. The nice EMPs. Well, not going to be able to prevent too much. We will see a recall coming on in. Good job from Classic to see this army coming and just immediately get back in position with that recall. But of course, that is the advantage of that recall is allows you to make moves like that. Four Robos is actually nuts. They're all in the natural too. Gumiho. I mean, he is not adding on Liberators. So the Robos, the mass robotics facility units are so good here. Four Immortals at a time. What do you have in your unit army? Stalkers? Nah, I got Immortals. Ooh, Disruptor Shot on the top side. We'll get a couple of units. Battery Overcharge getting popped once again. Will help push this army back. And with the Zealots, he's actually going to crush this army. Classic is starting to run away with the supply. EMP. We'll get on in here. We'll find a couple of units, but... Classic is going to be able to retreat on out. Now, actually, Classic says, okay, enough is enough. I'm going for the counterattack. Disruptor shots will help clean up a lot of these SCVs. Oh, okay, that command center stayed alive for so long with the repair. Disruptor shot will get dodged here. The Colossus really ripping and tearing this army apart. But we do see a flank. Vikings going after the war prison, but the war pins will, well, only a couple zealots getting denied. And he loses a lot of DPS time on these Colossus. Classic is really breaking through now. He was so dead in this game. Gumiho is going to try and make something happen here. But 3-3 is about to complete for Classic. That is going to give him an upgrade lead. He knocked out that base. Did lose his base on the bottom side. Both players took their licks, took their beatings. But it is Classic who is coming out way ahead in this. I... I'm blown away by the fact that Classic has made something happen in this game. And not just made something happen, but he is winning it actively now. Six Disruptors already in the field. Three more about to hit. And the only thing I, I want to see at this point, just add on DT Blink, maybe get shield upgrades. Other than that, steady as she goes for Classic until you see a Liberator transition. Uh, Gumiho, moving up to the right side here is mining out these minerals in order to make things more comfy for himself, but he is going to get jumped at this third base. We're going to see, well, at least two of the barracks getting picked off. Probably three. Yeah, three of the barracks going down. Few SCVs already as well. And Classic, yeah, he can just, he can just back away. Very small counterattack going on in, but Gumiho... He's just gonna tap out. Classic takes a ludicrous game number one. Wow, very well done. Here we go, game two. Unbelievable game number one. Will this man be able to keep his composure after a game like that? Spawning down in the bottom left, it is Gumiho. In the red. And his opponent, spawning up at the top right. Unbelievable holds into a ridiculous comeback. It is classic. In the blue. Man, I am really just so impressed by that. That was, that was nutty. Just incredible. Man. All right, Gumiho. Gonna be opening out double gas here. 
classic once again saying, hey, I think you're, I think you're probably doing something cheeky. Uh, and he just looks around, but there is no cheek. No cheekiness here. And Classic will just get across the map. Just will confirm, yep, you built, you built your stuff at home. Oh. Ooh, he wanted to check back in for the natural. In case it was one rack to expand. But seeing the second uh, supply depot should let you know pretty much exactly what's up. You're never going to build that second depot unless you are going for the double gas or something else. Now, I wonder what we're going to see from Gumiho to adjust from the previous game to this one. Man, I, I really am just so impressed with Classic's hold there. Like, I... I definitely do have a habit of being like, okay, player X is dead. But mostly because I just don't want to, like, BS the viewer. But, like, Classic should have been dead. 100%. So the fact that he not only stayed alive, like he lost his robotics facility. He lost his robo and like three immortals. Man, really just so impressive. Ooh, Adept does shade forward. Technically the Reapers, two Reapers especially can kite an Adept, but you do have to be a little bit careful. Oh, okay. Hellion does show on up. But with the high ground advantage, Classic is going to be able to drive this back. Look at this. They're, they're just jockeying for a position so much. Classic. Oh, the snipe from downtown kills that Reaper. Nice job. First blood. Gained the lead. All right. Gumiho did not manage to get into the main base. Did not see. Well, I mean, he did. But he didn't see the Stargate. Didn't get deep enough. Classic, did he, did he just shade back? Okay, yeah, he did. Gumiho is desperately trying to find a scout here, but Classic's just not leaving any openings. All right, Gumiho. What's he got on the docket here? Is he gonna go, go for a similar style push? I mean, the push was very successful and very nearly won him that game. Very nearly. And I mean, this is another uh, natural expansion where it's not going to be that easy to defend. Classic does not have a shield battery this time. He does have the pylon very far forward. No backup pylon in the back to power that gateway. This is scary. Where are the phoenixes? They are... Okay, they're on the other side of the map. Uh-oh. Whoa. Looks like he lifted a Viking. Ooh, Gumiho gonna try and intercept? Oh, he sure is. Ooh, he will find a double lock on here. Oh, that is gonna be one dead phoenix. Almost gets the other. So close. Barely escapes on out with that. I like that Gumiho went hunting for that. Uh, by the way, Gumiho is a little bit supply blocked at 70. Not the worst block, but it's it's going to slow him down a little bit. And that might provide Classic with enough time to get out of Colossus here. Ooh, you're going to see... Oh, very nice force field right there, but a great hot pickup from Gumiho. Saves one of those Cyclones. Still, Classic is on the hunt right now. He is chasing his opponent's army. And we're going to see a lot of Marines falling. Great force field right there from Classic. Pinning his opponent into the, into the side. And Gumiho is just going to instantly tap out. Classic takes a very quick 2-0. to zero. Damn. Very well done from Classic. What a comeback. And we are going to see a 2-0 for Classic. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you guys had a wonderful, uh, or well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
and we will catch you on the flip side.